Who is this blonde bombshell? It's me. Hey you guys, welcome back. I hope you have had um, a good couple of months or a month. I don't know how long it's been. It's been too long, let's just put it that way. It's been way too long. But so many things have changed, not just my hair color, but um, a couple of things I do in my routine have changed. Um, lots of new products that I'm gonna show you, but this is basically the look that we create together. Um, just sort of a, I don't know, kind of just like a smoky eye, a fun smoky eye that I've done. Um, but if you wanna know what products I used and what I did to create this look, then definitely stay tuned. Hello! Eyebrows are done. I All I did was use my, uh, precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. And um, let's see, I used actually a new paint pod. I'm still using paint pods because I think they're still the best primer ever but I'm using the soft ochre color instead of, um, I was using painterly, but that's way more pink based where I think I'm finally coming to the realization that I'm like a yellow undertone. So that is the only difference I'd say as far as what I really started doing with my eyes. I am gonna do an updated brow tutorial video because mine is um, super outdated. It's kind of old, I'm doing something new and I wanna show you guys. So anyways, my eyes are ready to go. Um, all I've done is just press the um, primer, the soft ochre primer, with some setting powder, and now we're ready to play with, I'm gonna use the Chocolate Hill palette. I haven't used this with you guys yet because I only joined the rest of the world and bought this not that long ago, but I love it. I love how versatile it is. I've been using this like with almost every look I've been doing lately, and so that is what I'm gonna use today. So let me zoom you in. That's better. Okay, I lost the sheet that had all of the names on it, so I'm just gonna point to it. So first one I'm gonna use is this one right here as my transition shade. I'm just going into it with a nice fluffy tapered blending brush and just putting it right in the crease. So yesterday was Thanksgiving. It is the dreaded crazy Black Friday. I am not a Black Friday shopper. I don't know if you guys are, but I've never wanted something so much that I have to like tackle people for it. To me, that's just not, it's not my thing. Now, one thing I did do, I did do a smidge of online Black Friday shopping yesterday, or, you know, Thanksgiving shopping, but Makeup Geek had their, like their matte shadows at 30% off. So they were like $4 a piece. So I did probably get like six or seven of those. <laughs> All right, so the next one I'm gonna do Let's see, the next shadow color. Oh, I've been like super into, obviously, you know guys, I'm a warm tone person, so I've been feeling lots of warm tones lately, but I don't know, today, I don't know, maybe I wanna do something a little bit different. Well, I'm still going warm tone, all right? I'm doing warm tone, but I'm gonna tap into Creamsicle. I know this one's called Creamsicle right here. So same fluffy tapered blending brush. This one I'm keeping a little bit higher up in the crease. I'm not going really low with it because this is a good, it's a good one for buffing out lines. I'm gonna go into this one, which is Pukey. Ooh, can't see it so well, Pukey, that one. Um, I'm gonna get a brush that's a little bit tighter. I don't want it to be too fluffy and get all over the place. I'm keeping it just right here in the crease. So I'm pretty much just using windshield wiper motions. A little bit of circular there at the end. Not taking that up too high. Did anybody eat till they hated themselves yesterday? <laughs> I did. All right, so that turned out real nice. Deepened up the crease a little bit. Now, I think I am actually going to tap into the palette that I'm working on. So it's just here in my little Tarte palette. And here's what I've got going on so far. I really like the shades I'm working with. Some good ones I like. Um, this one is one of my faves. It's Tiki Hut from Makeup Geek. I really like that color a lot. So I'm actually going to take the same brush and go into that. And this one has a good mirror, so I'm gonna use this mirror. Keeping it bright in the crease. I'm just darkening that up just a little. I think that's good. Now, one of my favorite colors that uh, I've been playing with lately is this one here, this kind of sparkly olive green one. It's called Pretentious, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one's Pretentious from Makeup Geek. I love the shimmer that's in that. It's a really good, um, 
It's a really good one for doing a smoky look, which I think, I think it'd be fun. So I'm actually going to, I think I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Let me see, I'm going to spray off the smudge brush. I have this little smudge brush here. Um, I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of setting spray. So that when I tap into it in the pan, it will give the best. I know this can't be the first time you guys have heard of this trick. I think I've mentioned it before too. So it coats it well, and I think it'll deposit the best shimmer. Now I'm going just kind of light with it in the inner corner because I don't want to totally lose this sort of gradient effect that I've started, but we'll deepen it up in the mid to outer corner. All right, so let me zoom you in a little further so you can see what's going on with that shimmer in the eye. We're gonna definitely deepen up the crease because um, the shimmer is now sort of like, that, that shimmer color is a little darker, which is good, I like it. And we're gonna lighten up the inner corners a little bit, a little bit on the lid, but we need to deepen up that, um, that crease color. So zoom you back out a little. What color should we use to lighten or darken the crease? I'm gonna use the other side of that shader brush that we were just using. And I'm going to use this one, God, I think it's called Chip. God, I really don't know. I think it's Chip, kind of a brown shade. It's this one right here. I'm gonna put some of that really just on the tip of the brush. Don't want a lot because it is really dark and they're pretty pigmented. And we're just popping it right in the crease. We'll blend it out so that it's not really harsh. That's my only complaint about this palette is that I can never know what the names are called. I just have to point to it. This one. I'm not trying to make this look overly grungy, which is why I'm not bringing in that dark color too far into the inner portion of my eye. I love grungy looks, but that isn't really what I think I'm doing with this one. So I'm only really doing that windshield wiper motion in once I think most of the product is off the brush and I'm just kind of pushing a little bit into it. Just again, so it's not, you know, like right in the middle of my eye stopping. Okay, so now we'll get um, this fluffy brush, not the fluffiest one I've used, but kind of that middle of the road one. We'll grab a little bit more of um, maybe that pukey color, just a little on it and sort of buff that in and out right there at where that darkest color stopped. We just don't want a harsh line. That's nice. And I have some fun, some fun things we can do with it once we go to the, um, our under eye. I think that'd be good. But I like the way that's turned out and I just wanna do one lighter color in the inner corner. Um, I think this gold here is really pretty. So I'm gonna take that same shader and I'm gonna go with this sort of goldy brown. And I'm gonna put this in the middle of my lid and then start patting it in the inner corner too. Real quick, taking that fluffy brush again, and just buffing out any lines that sparkly shimmer color left. Okay. So there you have it. That is how the lid has turned out. I like it. Whoa! Let's do our faces. Um, I am using a new primer these days. Loved my Becca primer. It's still one of my favorites that I've ever used. However, um, I am now starting to use this Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, base coconut, what do they call it? I always wanna get the right name. Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. It's super liquidy, really moisturizing, which you guys know I need. And you don't need too much since it's really liquidy, it does move around pretty well. I only use really like maybe a pump and a half for my whole face. Okay, and one new thing I'm doing, you know, I have super huge pores on my nose right here, even on my chin. So there's a few areas on my face that I've learned this new technique where I'm taking my primer, the same primer I use on my eyes, and I actually run it across and I coat my nose, um, my cheek area, 
just like kind of like I said, the areas where I've got the biggest pores because even though my primers do a great job for my face makeup, my face makeup still tends to sink into my pores and it just looks, it just looks bad. Like it just doesn't look good. So I'm taking just on my finger a fair amount of that primer and I just put it right on top so that if anything's going to sink into my pores, it's this. But actually, it does a pretty good job of laying across the top. But you can, I don't know, you can see that it definitely still, like, it's going into my pores. So I want this to do that instead of my foundation. And this stuff is like, if I could just get a foundation of this color, it's like the exact color of my skin. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, I'm going to go back to an oldie but goodie, and I'm going to use my Born This Way, and I have this in snow. Let's give it a little shaky shake. And um, my little naughty puppy, she's not a puppy at all. She's full grown, but she wanted to be naughty the other day. Started chewing on my large makeup brush, my really nice big pink one. So now I have this baby one that I'm using in the meantime to like go out and actually I've heard that the Morphe sponge, there's a new Morphe sponge that's fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to look for that see if maybe Ulta's having any good deals on it because now Morphe's at Ulta yay so just pat this everywhere this snow color is still such a good match because it's got it's really fair obviously because I'm still super white but it does have a nice yellow undertone to it. I've been stalking the Sephora website for Huda Beauty to restock because I've heard nothing but incredibly good things about that. Jamie Genevieve, who is my favorite YouTuber, loves her Huda Beauty and I know she's been using that a lot. I like that. It's like, it's not mattifying. It's not really, like, doesn't have a lot of sheen to it, but it's kind of like, they call it like the Instagram skin. Who doesn't want Instagram skin? Bunch of fakers. I'm gonna use my shape tape to conceal. I, for the first time, ran out of this stuff. So this stuff goes a long way. It doesn't take a lot. It spreads so nicely. But I finally ran out of it for the first time. Like a week ago. And it lays nicely on top. This lays nicely on top of my nose too, so I like that. Super white. So let's get some color on this mug. All right, so I'm just bringing out my um, Milk Chocolate Soleil. All right, and I have this nice big fluffy Morphe brush from the Rose Gold Collection, and I just, do the uh mostly just like the contour spots and then kind of drag it all over all right so now i'm going to get my precision powder brush it's number 59 from sephora and i'm going to start contouring with my sculpt powder from the tardis pro glow palette And I mostly just concentrate on right at the tops of my cheeks or the kind of the edges of my cheekbones and then taking it up along the brow. It kind of just raises my face, I feel like. And then of course, right there at the chin line. And I'm really not precise when it comes to doing my nose. I don't like an overly sculpted nose. I think it should just look like it's not melting into your face. And then I buff some color into the hairline. I'm looking a little more like coming back to life here. For that new highlighter, it's certainly not new. It's new for me, but I just got the, uh, the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like this one. 
Um, I'm gonna be using probably until this one hits pan too, the, um, what is this, summer, the summer color. Um, because it's got a good color for my skin tone. Oh yes, I love it. The other couple ones I will have to play around with probably more in the summertime because they're a little bit darker toned. So if and when I should ever get any pigment to my skin, those will be the ones I'll go with. But, oh, I just love that. I'm just gonna take this right across. Just there, the arch of my brow. I think that's a really healthy glow. A little bit in the middle. The only place I really like concentrate on right there, the cupid bow. Oh, yes. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do with my face before I move on to finishing the eyes. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, hello, I'm under here. Um, I have a new palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I've actually heard a lot of really good things about BH and I hadn't bought anything until this, but this is an, like, kind of like a neutral toned eyeshadow, but also most, I'm using it mostly as a blush palette because they've got some good blush colors in it. So the blushes are along the bottom, obviously, we've got the larger pans. Um, but I'm gonna use this first one and they are very pigmented. So you'll see, I picked up almost nothing on the brush, but I'm just gonna lay it right across the top of my highlighter and contour. And you guys know I'm not a huge blush person, so this is kind of like perfect. But I don't have to use a lot, and I still get a pretty good amount of color. Just again, giving me a little more life to my skin. So now, let's go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. Finish under our eyes. Oh, down here. Um, I think I'm going to grab this um, kind of, like I said, mid-sized sort of fluffy tapered brush. And I'm going to grab Pukey with it again, which is this kind of pukey color. And I'm just going to buff that under my eyes. So you gotta bring that up. I'll zoom you guys in, that'd be helpful. Bring it up to meet the edge there of the outer corner. Okay, now, that's pretty good. All right, I think now for the next color that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, um, this kind of small shader brush and I'm gonna go back into this darker one that we used and I'm just going to take this right along the lash line. From the outer corner about three quarters of the way through. I'm gonna do a little bit more of it and really just sort of pat it right there at the corner. Not really bringing it in much, but just so it really meets that darker color there at the edge too, of the outer corner on top. Okay, so I'm gonna do just one more pass of, um, let's see, of that pukey color, just a little right there at the lash line, just to um, blend nicely that darker color we just did that I don't know the name of. To finish this up, I'm going to do, um, let's see, I need another shader, another good shader brush, but in the meantime, I'll just grab this one that I was doing my primer with since it's a good flat brush, and I'm gonna go into um, the second color in the palette, and this is gonna, highlight my brow bone. You really do not need a lot of it. And then I will match that in the inner corner. I'm debating on whether or not I should do like fake awake pencil in my waterline. That will sort of help that bottom portion stand out. Might as well, got it right here. So I'm gonna put fake awake. It's my little tart fake awake pencil. Just right in my waterline. So it just kind of makes it pop a little. And then for mascara, 
just using Benefit Roller Lash. And I am undecided right now as to whether or not I'm gonna put lashes with this. I do have some pretty amazing sets right now. I have a couple new sets from Boldface. You guys know that's like one of my favorite lash companies, but my favorite pair that I've been wearing lately is Sassy Since Birth. These are just fan flippin' tastic So I think I'll go ahead and just pop these on. Check those suckers out. Whew, they are, they are bold. Okay. And then for my lips, all I've been doing lately is um, taking one of my um, Sephora lip cream colors. And I do not know what color this is because, again, they don't name them. It's number 21. And actually what I've been doing is I've been using this to sort of just contour my lips. And then um, using like a lip gloss on top. So to the outside. Sort of smudging that so it gets on top and bottom. And then lining just the bottom. Making sure it matches up. Blending that a little. And then I have um, this Bare Minerals Gloss in Sugar. It's actually kind of a pink tint, but it looks so good with that kind of contouring you do. Okay, well, that is it. That's the whole look. That is all I'm gonna do today. So it was so fantastic coming back to film and kind of filling you guys on what's been going on and plans for filming and other things I'm doing. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That way I know what you guys are enjoying. And um, don't forget to subscribe. I should have my mug appearing somewhere around here. And I um, hope you guys had a great holiday, a great Thanksgiving. Um, and I will be back with more videos soon. So have a good one.